Hi, my name is Cindy Rang with the Fabric Patch in Efreda, Washington, and I'm here with a special guest, Sue Garrison from the Green Acres Middle School, and she is the person who is collecting all of these quilts for the CI class um, in her middle school. So we're going to be visiting with her and opening some boxes. My daughter and I have owned and operated a busy quilt shop in Washington State for over 20 years. We have a retreat center, an active YouTube channel, and a large pattern line featuring our creations. My two sons work on machines. One daughter-in-law is our videographer and the other is a long-arm quilter. We are a family that love each other, we laugh together, and every once in a while we get some work done. We have a crew that are saints for their efforts at keeping us on track. Thanks for joining us on our wild ride. <laughs> so Sue first came into our shop a couple of weeks ago, not very long ago at all, and um, was picking out some fabric and we got to chatting and she was talking about um, her classroom and um, that most of the, all of the children are in wheelchairs, most. So. And they oftentimes have to go outside for bomb threat, um, um, all drills. of the drills, fire drills, all of those things, and um, that idea of being warm um, was a problem. So she was making it her mission to make sure that everybody had a quilt. So I said, I know people, and we can help you with this. And so sure enough, we put the word out. We have our first five groups to kind of open and show you. And I told Sue, I know for a fact that we have more coming. So this is just a fun trunk show that we're gonna do. We have not seen them yet. Sue has not seen them yet. And so we just thought we would um, kind of show you what's going on. And I have one box in particular that I'm gonna get the person on the phone and do a FaceTime with. So um, should we just, where, where should we start? start? I don't and, care. And I want to just point this out. Sue brought this with her today. And Spokane Valley, for those of you who don't know Washington State, we are, Ephraim is in the centermost part of the state. Um, and Spokane is on the eastern side of the state. And so it's about a two hour drive. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah. And so she got here early this morning. And um, anyway, she brought us this beautiful thank you poster. And there's about 40 students, I think. But she said not everybody wanted paint on their hand, which makes sense to me. <laughs> I think I might have been one of those people. I'm not sure. But um, so anyway, so many of them made this wonderful poster. We're going to keep it hanging up here. But you can see, again, they are middle schoolers. And so um, so that's why we talked about the appropriate size. size. And we were kind of thinking 54 or 60 54. square. Because yeah. the other thing is these students are taking these quilts home with them um, at the end of the year. So just keep in mind, we're starting all over. So we're just going to each year, we'll just make sure that they've got at least 40 quilts to start the school year oh, with. Perfect. Yeah, for boys and girls. And so um, let's see, where should we start? Let's, um, let's start with this bag okay. because the other thing that happened was some people, they saw and um, they just took them right to the school because they knew where the school was. So who was this bag from that you thought it was? This is from the Spokane Valley Guilds. Oh. So this is the Kathy Bradstreet. Kathy Bradstreet. And um, so, and I'm just gonna tell you nice flannel mm -hmm. on the back. And what is the, can I drop it for a minute to see yeah. if I, oh, this is fun. So this is uh, very pretty. Looks like this is one of those that is just um, a whole piece. Quilt. Gosh, yeah. All about the fabric. A whole piece quilt. So that is beautiful. It looks all pieced. This is one of those examples of where the fabric does most of the work for you, which is fantastic. And then this one also from Kathy. Yep. Yeah. Oh, gosh, that's a bright one. Oh, my goodness. This one is beautiful. So on this side this and I can't wait to show you the back side are you ready this is the back <laughs> that's fun really nice so this is fun so this is a little four patch of um, rail fence and beautifully quilted does she do all the quilting herself does she have a long arm uh, she, she said she's using a, a company a that's there they don't oh, have a nice. long arm 
Oh, this is beautiful. This is just, oh gosh, and it's so soft. It is soft. Really nice. So this one is like the pattern squared. I don't know if it's the same one, but we have a pattern like this called squared. Can I look at it? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Isn't that cute? And this one too, it's beautiful. Backing, mm -hmm. so soft, really nice. Beautiful. And just the right size again, middle schooler in a wheelchair. Yeah, this one is just like that other one. Oh, just like that. Oh, that's good. Ooh, same color backing that also. Is. These ones are going to need to have labels. <laughs> so you can tell whose is whose. Yes. Yes. I'm not going to let somebody else take their, and again, flannel on the back, right. which is really nice. Well, Kathy Bradstreet and and friends in Spokane Valley. That was nice and nice that they took them right to the yeah. school and all finished. Because the other thing too is um, uh, this was a one woman job. It was. This home, was, but... <laughs> Sue was coming and just, she had a little list and she was getting fabrics and her plan was to make and quilt 40 quilts. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? So um, that's the other thing too is she does have a long arm. I do have a lot of because if you just had quilt tops to donate, then um, uh, because if you don't have a quilter that can do that, then um, yeah. she can she can go ahead and do that. So um, and so we'll do this one first and then we'll open. We'll get Marion on the phone. But um, there was a, a woman in our community, um, Ruth Watson. We called her Ruthie. Everybody who knew her called her Ruthie. Ruthie passed away about a month ago. But Ruthie, um, just the just the most wonderful, giving woman, her and her daughter, Jean Patterson, came in all the time. And Ruthie, same thing. She made quilts for everybody in her family. Nobody wanted any more quilts. And so her mission was the children. She made hundreds of quilts that she would send down to Guatemala. And it was just her thing. She would buy flannel bolts by the uh, flannel yardage by the bolt and always got bright colors. We would order it in for her. And even when she moved up to assisted living, that was what she did all day long was she sewed. Well, it was um, after she passed, um, Jean brought all of her stuff in and um, uh, we're we're giving that we're sending that home with you it's a great big huge tub oh my goodness. full of tons of fabric that's in there there's even some rulers and some other stuff that's in there but um but uh Would we just thought donated them to the sewing Anybody you okay. want to do. Well, they have yeah. Oh, the class. rulers. Oh, that would be great. They have a Give class them to the students. Eighth graders get the quilt. Oh, that's the super summer. nice. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Because we just thought what a perfect transition of all of Ruthie's stuff going um, with you. Thank you. Because it's all the kids. So these were some quilts that she had um, started. Um, there's a ton of fabric in there, so you can make these oh. a little bit bigger. So this one is that squared pattern. And so yeah. she had put a little bit around it. So... Um, I know a lot of the quilts that she made were a little bit smaller, but oh, did you get that? I'm sorry. And then, but I love the bright colors. That one yeah, is super fun. Kids love bright. Yes. And then this one was another one that. It's a space. Space. And it could be that some of this fabric glows in the dark. I feel like oh I'm goodness. familiar with this and it glows in the dark. So again, we can get yeah. some bigger borders on that so that it's the right size for a middle schooler. But. So these were some works in pro in progress. And then this one, um, this one is done. And so this one looks like this was a panel oh, that she, um, and has flannel on the back. That was what she did. She put flannel on the back of everything. Oh, look at that one. Yeah, isn't that fun? Little cat, an angel, some birds, bunny. Kind of a fun springy. Oh, these are pieced squares on the outside. Pieced squares, yes. Pieced squares. So this is um, Ruthie Watson. We will miss seeing her. Beautiful, wonderful woman. I'm going to put this okay. down here. Perfect. All right, and now we're going to get on the phone. We might stop for just a second because we're going to open Marion McMichael's box. And 
Marion McMichael, um, we'll link her video below, but she did an Every Quilt Has a Story oh, with okay. us. She came up for a retreat, and so we did it out on my patio. Um, but she, you just have to watch to see who she is. She has got this incredible math brain, and um, she started quilting, and I don't remember. I know she's over 200 now, and same thing. Everybody has one. Who am I going to give these to? Well, she keeps a log. So I have give I have written down okay. her name and information because she would love to have I don't know in, if there's confidentiality or anything but she would love to um, get at least maybe even just the first name or whatever you can possibly share so that she knows where the quilts go she just likes it she just likes to make them and she journals everything <laughs> and so anyway we're gonna get her on FaceTime so she can tell us what we're taking out okay. of the box. Okay, so we have Marion McMichael on FaceTime right here. They've met, they've discussed, um, uh, traded digits, and so um, they will um, stay in contact because, again, Marion, I don't know if I said this on camera or we were talking before, but Marion journals everything and she keeps track of where the quilts are. And so it's just kind of fun just to know, you know, and I was telling your husband this out in the car earlier that. There's something special about knowing who's getting the quilt right. and you're thinking of that person the whole time you're making it. And I told him that, you know, we'll have to get started pretty soon on all of the quilts for next year. <laughs> and I can I can picture a cute little middle school boy in a wheelchair that is going to love a quilt, you know. So it's kind of nice to have um, someone to sew for because... Yeah. So many of us that have been quilting for a long time, nobody in our family wants any more quilts. So <laughs> we're excited to have someone to quilt for. So, and Marion, we were wondering how many um, how many quilts have you made so far? I think I'm getting close to 130. 130. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And again, I told them all we're going to link your every quilt has a story, so people will understand this woman who is just. Um, truly amazing truly amazing okay so i've opened the box and so we'll oh gosh oh yeah look so we'll open these colors. up oh look at that bright colors well she said that they loved purple yeah though that may not be child fabric if there's lots of purple in it this yeah. is beautiful yeah the, the pattern is called art deco the pattern is called art deco Mm. And it's one of Donna Robertson's three yard quilts. One of the and three yard quilts. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful back. I can recognize that from the Catitude line. From the Cat. Oh, yeah. So this fabric, um, Catitude, uh, a Benertex fabric. Yes, that's uh, beautiful. Beautiful, oh, beautiful, that's... and beautiful quilting. All right, that one's exciting. Does she do her own quilting? You do not do your own quilting. You have a quilter that you work with. I, I work with a long armor. I do the bindings. She does. I also can quilt, but we use a long arm machine. Okay. Use it. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. Oh. oh. This one's really bright and pretty. Gosh. And I named the Flower Gallery because it looks like pictures hanging down the wall with ribbons in an art gallery. Yes. Can you hear that, do you think? Mm -hmm. So she said she's named this one um, Flower Gallery because it looks like pictures of flowers with ribbons hanging down in a gallery. That is beautiful. It is beautiful. And it's got purple back. And another purple. <laughs> I love you. And look at the flowers quilted in there. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh. I think I have that quilt pattern. Oh. Yes. Oh my goodness, Marion. I do like bright colors. I see that. Look at the back of this one. Oh, look at that. Great. That is just happy. So, great. So that one, I called it Carnival. Okay. And it uses the overnight sensation pattern. So, um, she called this one Carnival. It's the overnight sensation pattern. In the back. Beautiful. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and that's that bright. Oh, that bright. <gasps> that's really nice. I'll that's let you bright. fold. I'll get another okay. one out of here. Oh, and she packaged so well. So um, Marion is from Georgia, and so it's funny. Whenever we send anything down south, we always prepare it as if it's going to get wet, and so that's how she sent them up to us. Even though 
We're pretty. Oh my goodness, Marion. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Now there's the one that's specifically for a boy. I called it just bold blue. This one is called bold blue. Oh, pretty. That is beautiful. And is this what pattern is this one? Um, I think it might be Brick Street. Oh. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful blue back and that lime green. Gosh, anybody, they always tease me because if, anytime it's lime green and blue, I just automatically think Seahawks and then I'll get corrected and say that is not a Seahawks colors, but. That right, looks it, very think Seahawks. Seahawks. Okay, good. To me. Because I thought Seahawks. Okay. Oh, cute. I know this line of fabric. Squirrely girl. Squirrely girl. Same yeah. pattern it looks yeah, like. That one, yeah, that one is definitely Brick Street. They're different. One is a thinner sashing, but um, but yeah, it's very similar. Beautiful. Oh, what? Oh, here. yeah. And it's actually well, kind of directional, hands. so you can see that, yeah, she. Uh, yeah, and it was interesting because there were two directions fabrics in that line but they ran in opposite directions to the selvage so I was able to do it with everything turned face up. I love the quilting on the back. I know, I know. She's <laughs> she's loving your quilting. <laughs> well that's the advantage of working with a quilter. I get to see the thousands of designs and pick what I want. Yes. Oh this one is really Thank soft. You. Beautiful. So that is I called that one raspberry checkers. Raspberry checkers is what All she's right. called this one. And so this probably looks pieced to you guys in the camera. This is another example of fabric that's done most of the work for you. So she's got a really nice print fabric there, a couple of them, just great big blocks with a small sash. So that's just fantastic. Really happy, beautiful fuchsia back. Oh yeah. Fantastic. I'm going to move some of these so we can start putting them in the box. I told her to make sure that her, um, the back seat was empty. Okay. All right, let's open this one. Ooh, that's, really that's another one, that same fabric. You like um, <laughs> yeah. bright, fun fabrics. Oh, why though? It's, it's like bright colors. colors. Now, what is the name of this pattern? Masquerade because it reminds me of Mardi Gras. She says the pattern of this is Town Square and she named it Mardi Gras because it reminds her. Uh, she named it. No, she named it yeah, Mar Masquerade Mardi because it reminds her of Mardi Gras. Uh, masquerade, yeah. <laughs> beautiful. Oh, and that same beautiful purple on the back. Okay. See, you ask for purple. Oh, the kids all love it. Yes. I'll help you get these back in this box nice and tidy. Oh, what is this one called? It's called Diamond Dust. Oh. Diamond Dust. And it's kind of a, a dull one, but I thought, you know, there, there may be someone who... I don't think that's dull. No, it's no this no, is beautiful. No. It's, not, it's not as childish, but you know, every kid in middle school isn't... Well, right. And it's not flowers. And it's not flowers, that's right. Another nice soft backing, really nice. I know, I can't tell you how many teenage quilts I made and they wanted black. Yeah. Black. It's like, well, what other color? Mm, little, white. Little boys, little boys aren't into flowers quite as much. No, no. All right, two, two more. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Again, another the, example. The on these next two, the the on these next two I believe, is uh, there's a uh, gnome place like home. Sure. Gnome place like and home. Pattern, yeah, and the pattern is, um, uh, let's see, it's pick, pr pretty please, I believe, or yeah, I think it's called, or picture perfect, picture perfect. Picture perfect, yeah. So it just super bad. simple. Oh, and look at the back. That's also from that gnome place like home fabric line. Bees and yeah, bees and snails and ladybugs. Okay. Yeah, cute. cute. 
super Thank cute. You. And that's um, um, the next quilt is the same line of fabric. So these two are kind of matching quilts, but not. But the fabric line is the same. Yes, isn't this one pretty? Bright. Yes. Light bright. My grandsons love this one because you have to search for the gnomes hiding. Oh. So she said, Marion said her grandsons love this one because you have to search for the gnomes that are hiding amongst the flowers. So there's also the bees. Yeah, the bees, the ladybugs. <laughs> Really nice, beautiful back. And oh, let's just hold this up. Look at this quilting that we keep looking at. Look at the quilting on the back. You can see Isn't that. Isn't that beautiful? That pretty. That's great. What a great quilter. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful job. All right, we made it to the bottom of the box. Yes, yes. And, and as, as I said, I've got some boy ones that are coming in the spring. My, um, we're, we're taking December off. We're not doing any quilting. Because we're all making, you know, pot holders and placemats. Um, and then in the spring, I've got the Jetsons, and I've got Baby Yoda, and mm -hmm. some more boy-centric ones. Oh. oh. Thank you so, so much. So, Marion says that um, they're taking off the month of December um, to catch up on Christmas gifts, and so not quilting. But she has some, because at first when we were talking back and forth, I said, oh, well, she has a long arm. No. <laughs> Marion finishes them gets them quilted, gets them bound, and then she'll send them. So we'll have more after the first of the year. And she was saying that they have a Baby Yoda one, a Jetsons one, and something else. So she has some boy ones that are coming. But anyway, so Marion, say goodbye to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marion, thank you so much. You're thank just you. such a generous, generous yes. gift. So we'll be talking soon. So we're going to let you get back to camping. We're in our... Uh, interrupting her camping so all right love you see bye. you love you too bye bye what a generous person what a sweet person yeah yeah so nice okay. all right two more boxes so this box comes to us from Sturgis so this is Chris Robinson same thing you know Chris um, came up to a retreat not the same one that Marion did and she had a quilt I believe that what she sent us and I'm going to give this box back to you her address okay, is okay. in here Let's see if I can not cut it cut through there oh, I might have to rewrite that. That. can you see that five two, seven Dakota. seven eight five what's that South Dakota. Um, South Dakota. Sturgis, oh, South, South Dakota. Dakota. Okay. We teased her the entire time about the motorcycle rally. Yeah, she says no. The locals don't do that, but um, everybody else comes and does that. So she, um, but anyway, yeah, she's from Sturgis, South Dakota. Um, all right. Oh, gosh, it's a heavy one. Good. And she said it was just a fun. Because she asked, she says, well, do you think kids like raggedy quilts? Kids love yeah. them. They're nice and heavy. Oh, and they're and really, yes. And this one is out of Minky. Yeah. Oh, Sorry. man. Oh, look, behind the camera. <laughs> oh, this one. They're going to fight over this one. May May. Oh, oh my goodness. Both sides. Oh, my goodness. It's Minky on both. Okay, so it's Minky on both sides. So it's raggedy. Nice and heavy. And look at the other side. Did I do that too fast? Look at the other side. It's got airplane. Oh my gosh. Super special. So whoever's always cold. Gosh, I want this one. Nice. Oh, it's very textile. Oh, yeah. So touch it, it feels different. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah, bumpy. Mm -hmm. That's, gosh. Chris, really generous, really yes. nice. That's fantastic. That's Did fantastic. she do two layers? Sorry, yeah. I don't ask questions. Yeah. Did she two do two layers. layers of minky? So yeah. for each one, it's two layers of minky. And then that's perfect for all of your minky scraps. When you cut off that little extra, after mm -hmm. perfect, perfect. I have so many minky scraps. I and look at that. She quilted each one. Each yeah. one of those. She has. I think she has an embroidery machine. So I'll bet she just stacked them. Quilted them, stacked them, quilted them, and then just put them together. Mm. So true. smart. Yeah. So, so, so smart. Yeah. We'll make more of these. Mm. That's that fantastic. That is great. All right. We'll put that one back in that back box. So you have uh, her name. Yeah, and... I need her name. All right. And this one, Catherine Frick 
She's from Duluth, Minnesota. And I think, because I was chatting with Catherine, and I think that these are tops. Okay. Um, she had three tops that um, didn't have a home. I mean, that's that whole thing with quilters. You know, we make them, make them, and no one wants them. Well, you want to try the pattern. That's what I do. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's <laughs> try the a, pattern. Oh, I can do that one. Right. That's right. I have several of those. I tried the pattern. Oh, and there's a nice little note here. Okay. Which, do I have my glasses? No. Let's see what she says. Are these yours? Oh. Oh, thank you. That, those are mine. From, oh, she just was um, to the fabric patch. Catherine from Bruce. I've sent backing and binding too. Oh, oh my goodness. That was really generous. Super, yes, super nice. So I'm going to put her address in there. Okay. Kathy Frick from uh, yeah, Duluth, Minnesota. Okay. That is cold up there already. Okay, God, let's see. That's good. You have some work to do. I do. <laughs> no, that's great. I have an excuse on it, but... Okay, so let's see. Oh, yeah, so here is binding, binding already prepared, <laughs> backing. Oh, fun. Oh, fun. Oh, this is great. Oh, this is beautiful. It's good because we needed more boy ones. Yeah. And it's blue. Oh, blue and planets. Look at that. That's fantastic. Oh, That'll be a fun one to quilt. Yeah. Beautiful. Again, you know, I say this all the time, a fabric that does all the work for you, you can add a couple other pieces to that, and this is just stunning. Beautiful. Nice. Really nice. Perfect size. Hmm? For somebody who likes, I'll let you fold that one up. Okay. This one. Here's her backing. Oh, here's the binding. Oh, I might have pulled these out out of order. I'll bet this is this is the binding and the backing for that one. This yep. is the binding and the backing for this one. All right, let's see. Oh, fish. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, I feel like this is one of those same patterns that Marion did. Did we see this pattern before? Yeah. That's great. Another one of those three yard quilts. Another one of those, yeah, three yard quilts. That's great. The boys all love the fish. Yeah, yeah, the fish. So that's nice. It's nice that she filled in some boy holes yeah. there. All right. Well, this was fun. How many did we open? One, two, three, seven, ten, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 quilts. We're yeah. halfway there. Yeah. We're halfway there. We'll, um, and then Brianna and I have a few also. We have a bunch that are coming. So, um, so thank you guys so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's just nice to have someone to sew for and yeah. to make one that's just going to be that perfect size, nice. little lap size. So it's perfect for them to be able to have one when they have to go outside and, um, and put their names on. You have some labels to make too, yeah. I guess. Yeah. All right. Ladies, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is more than I ever dreamed. <laughs> it's good to have friends. I was telling your husband this. I just like that I'm the middleman. I can put my friends with friends in need. Mm -hmm. And there's something special. The three things um, are servicemen and women, uh, children, and, and dogs, <laughs> pets. <laughs> so kids, kids that need quilts, we're there. We're well, there. thank you. I really so, appreciate this. Yeah. This is beyond. Our pleasure. And uh, obviously their pleasure. We'll help you get these loaded up. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.